Hey, what's going on out there? Sean Devine, and today I have a new plug-in review for you all, and we're going to be reviewing the Stereo Delta plug-in by Matthew Lane. It's available at MatthewLane.com. Uh, just to give you a little bit of, of backstory on how I came across Matthew's work, I actually was fortunate enough to be in the studio with an engineer by the name of Manny Mariquin a couple years ago. And he told me about this Dr. MS plugin. What is Dr. MS? It's a spatial processor, uh, but it is specifically dealing with mid side processing. I've talked about this in some of my other videos, but it's a really powerful tool for uh, processing stereo signals, uh, making things more narrow or more wide, processing frequencies um, in terms of the stereo field. So it's a really, really powerful tool. And so this Stereo Delta plugin is kind of like the uh, the simplified one knob version of Dr. MS. It borrows a lot of the same technology and methods that are in the uh, the full, more complete Dr. MS plugin. Um, but anyway, this one is a lot easier to use. Obviously, I think that was the goal with uh, from Matthew was to take the sound from uh, Dr. MS and really just make it more accessible make it something quick that you can pull up and not have to worry about so many different controls. Um, but obviously Dr. MS is insanely powerful. So if you like the sound of this plugin, I would definitely check out uh, Dr. MS. But anyway, since we're talking about Stereo Delta and we're going to review that, let's just talk about the plugin. And when you first load it up, it will uh, come with it with that knob uh, and just kind of sticking straight up like that so i've got it on a main vocal right now and i just want you to hear what it's doing so let me disable it for now so now i'm going to turn it on and if we turn the knob to the left it's going to narrow the stereo field had a hard life when she was young, but now she grown. And as we go to the right, it will open it up. Work hard for the money. Had a hard life when she was young, but now she grown and getting on there. Different circumstances got to live in. Ooh, yeah, it's sweet. It gives it this really cool stereo spread, like a 3D effect. Uh, let me let you hear that one more time. Work hard for the money. Had a hard life when she was young, but now she grown and getting on there. Different circumstances gotta live in this way. Let's hear it with the beat. Work hard for the money. Had a hard life when she was young, but now she grown and getting on there. Different circumstances gotta live in this way. Popping for them dollars, no, she gotta get there. Yeah, for a lead, I'd probably put it somewhere in there. But if you want to give something just a really cool kind of chorusy spread, uh, I would do this. But this is actually it, it's more subtle than chorus. And uh, again, it's just giving you kind of that 3D depth, which is really cool if you want to make a vocal stand out. So that's one way that we could uh, use the plugin. Another way is uh, I tend to process my backgrounds where I'll have duplicates and I'll pan them to give things a really wide effect and make those backgrounds stand out. So for example, right here. That girl, she got a mind of a hustler. By any means she go and get it, yeah, that's what's up. No. So the backgrounds just, you know, sit outside of the main vocal uh, in terms of the stereo field. And I'm just doing panning for that. Uh, but once I found out about Dr. MS, it really changed the way I approach this kind of background vocal processing. Number one, it makes it easy because I don't necessarily have to have a duplicate. I can just have one mono channel, and you see I've got Dr. MS on here. So if I just play it back, it's going to be dead center. Turn on Dr. MS, it will actually make it uh, kind of pseudo stereo or sound stereo, even though it's a mono uh, file. And we can do the same thing with our uh, new Stereo Delta plugin by widening that mono signal. So let's just turn this on. And in the default, we're gonna be. That girl, she got a mind of a hustler. 
Pretty dead center, but let's turn it to the right and give it that 3D effect. That girl, she got a mind of a hustler. I'm gonna turn him up a little bit. That girl, she got a mind of a hustler. By any means, she go and get it, yeah, that's what's up. So without it. That girl, she got a mind of a hustler. By any means, she go and get it, yeah, that's what's And with it. That girl, she got a mind of a hustler. By any means, she go and get it, yeah, that's what's up. So it just gives it a nice stereo spread um, and that's just one use you know you could use this on your instruments you can use this on a number of different things other than vocals uh, but i can see myself pulling this out if i want to give something a really subtle stereo spread for instance background vocals or to put it on the main kind of vocal layer like we did earlier just to kind of make something stand out and give something a unique tone i think that's the best part about this plugin uh, that I've seen so far is it has a, a nice musical tone to it. And it's it's not quite a chorus. It's not quite uh, spreading things out as much as, you know, you, you might in Dr. MS. Uh, but that's another thing that uh, reading uh, Matthew's description, he wanted to make sure that you had full mono compatibility. What I mean by that is when we start getting into these, you know, 3D type of effects and stereo width types of processes, we can actually uh, mess up our, our mono uh, version. So if I was to you know switch to mono on my monitoring, we don't want to lose anything. Um, and this is truly mono compatible, which means you're not going to have any su surprises uh, by turning this you know 3D. And when we switch back to mono, for instance, let me just put on a, uh, a logic gain plugin. And what we'll do is let's just turn on stereo delta have it all the way over here and right now we're in stereo so if i turn mono on we should retain uh that presence that girl she got a mind of a hustler by any means she go and get it yeah that's what's up that girl, she got a mind of a hustler. So it's very even. And that just tells us that we're not dealing with any kind of, or we're not introducing any phase issues or any kind of serious problems by using this effect. So again, a really useful tool. Uh, I think it's very affordable right now. I would pick this up if you're not uh, as familiar with MS processing and you're not quite ready to jump into uh, Dr. MS, which has a, a quite a bit steeper a learning curve but is really powerful uh, this is going to give you the same technology that's in this plugin but put it into a very simple GUI and something that you're going to be able to pull out and get results really quickly really easily uh, so you don't have to know anything about mid-side processing to be able to get amazing width out of your track so I would highly recommend this plugin head over to MatthewLane.com if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave them below and we'll talk to you soon.